So the Sports Development Programme aims to choose some of our better athletes or athletes with potential from each of the four sporting streams. We focus on swimming, netball, football and rugby. We take the pupils out of class twice a week to have skill sessions or contact sessions with our elite athletes. We do this on a rotation basis to ensure that the same subject is not missed more than once a term. So most schools might be able to only manage about two hours of coaching for their better athletes. Here at DESK, we boost that from two hours and we push it up to 10 hours. This consists of two to four hours of team training with their coach. One core PE lesson is reserved for strength and conditioning and up to five hours before school for strength and conditioning, prehab and rehab with a specialist. Each student on each of the programmes receives a booklet which is approximately 100 pages long. Within that booklet, there's some nutritional support, psychology support, strength and conditioning programmes, technical and tactical workbooks that they can do for homework as well as during the session. With the performance programmes, we work on a really small coach to student ratio so that each student gets as much feedback as possible. Because the majority of us are still actively playing the sport, it means that we can keep up with all the modern trends and the changes in the game and implement them in our coaching here at school. We have a very unique comprehensive programme here at DESK. Unlike the common traditional drills and skills type of training, we very much game sense training specific. So essentially this means giving them scenarios, so getting them playing the game more than spending the majority of the session just on the basic drills and skills invariably leads to them being able to think through situations and execute the skills required in a match environment. We ensure that the girls here are working on a netball specific strength and conditioning programme and working towards building all the strength around the knee joints, the ankle joints, the back, the core stability. Here we have a rehab specialist. To ensure that where possible, we risk averse and we ensure that there's no injuries throughout the season. We also try and remove our students from one core PE lesson a week so that we can give them the tools in the gym to learn their strength and conditioning program so that they can do this within their own time. One of the unique features we have here is the structured sports mastery program which helps support a player in their strength and conditioning in a progressive way. The goal of the sports mastery program is to build an athlete up to reach an Olympic level. So we start off with Olympic statistics and then we work our way backwards so that we can progress the athlete bit by bit so that they reach that goal. What we do is we try and support them and take them through a protocol which develops them to resist injury and avoid injury before it happens as well as if they do get injured try and speed their recovery. We're uh, super keen on obviously developing the student as a whole. We want to improve their personal skills and so one of the big traits is they have to form a relationship with the teacher and ask them for permission, can they leave their lesson to go and do FDP, which is a great social side and they have to learn to communicate with an adult. And the type of traits we're looking for is have students with potential, obviously they have talent in their sport, See, the main one is having the right attitude and you know, we look at are they coachable. It's a big question we ask the students, are you being coachable? Because if you're not, you're not going to be able to develop, you're not going to be able to listen and learn, and obviously we're not going to be able to make you a better student athlete. Some of the key things we're trying to develop in our athletes are some mental skills, such as coping with adversity, mental resilience, mental toughness, leadership. These are all things that are covered within our psychology programme, but it's something we put inherent within our sessions as well. Mainly we help them build confidence in their chosen sport. As long as the swimmer's got the right attitude, we can help develop the rest. We try and keep constant contact with the teachers. The students know, and it's been feedback from parents and teachers themselves, that the students actually know they have to work even that little bit harder to keep up their grades, make sure they can miss one lesson in seven weeks so they're not suffering on their academic side. So they have to achieve their high academic side and then they get rewarded and a good opportunity to develop their sport, which, which all these students love to do. So in the future we're hoping to include some other sports within the programme, so we are looking at including cricket and athletics into the programmes as well. An area which is important to students and parents is the opportunities and pathways after being developed at DESK. We've had several students go over to the US for scholarships and then we've had opportunities in professional academies back in the UK. The mental skills we're looking for in a DESK student is desire, confidence, commitment, resilience. A big part for us is how they react to failures. Obviously it happens in sport quite often, but it's how they feed back on that, evaluate it, and how they can turn it next time into being positive and they can succeed at that goal. The Sports Development Programme isn't just about developing better athletes, it's about developing better people. 